When you assume you put a could, could God do? There's certain things God can't do. God can't lie. lie. Scripture says he can't lie. He can't do that. He can't be tempted. He can't be tempted by evil, which means he can't act self-centeredly. It's against his nature. He's selfless. But could he create in a way that limits his knowledge of what would happen? Could he choose to limit his own foreknowledge and not look there? It would be no different than you saying, if, um, uh, could you choose not to jump? You have the ability to jump. Could you choose not to? Sure you could. So could he choose not to do that? He has the ability to choose not to do that. Of course. Do you have an ability? You can choose not to use it. But that's not the same thing as saying that's what he's done. And the scriptures are pretty clear that he has not done that. If you read scripture and you believe in the Bible prophecy about anything, including the Messiah and what the Messiah would achieve and how he would be treated and how people acted, it required foreknowledge of what people's choices would be when he arrived. Whether it was the foreknowledge of somebody betraying him, the foreknowledge of being put up between two thieves, the foreknowledge of casting lots over his clothing, the foreknowledge of... These are all people's individual free choices that he knew before they committed them and before they chose them. The, uh, the scripture is just rife with this. The, the foreknowledge, the foreknowledge of, of uh, that there would only need to be one ark instead of a fleet of arks at the flood. Either he's a fraud and he wasn't really offering everybody a trip on the ark, or else he knew that they wouldn't make that decision to get on the ark. So the evidence is overwhelming that God had foreknowledge of men's decisions. But could he? Your question could? Sure, he could have. I just don't believe he did.